Silver has always been regarded as poor man's gold. And as gold continued to climb on the back of ultra-loose monetary policy, many investors were drawn to silver as a cheaper alternative and a store of value, and the price shot up. But silver took a big tumble, in part driven by increased margin calls, leaving many investors nursing big losses. And that, in turn, has sparked a renewed interest in another silver crash, Silver Thursday, at a Texan named Bunker Hunt. Here's Philip Lasker. The super wealthy Duke brothers in the Paramount film Trading Places... How can the place be going down? Something's wrong were wiped out after unsuccessfully trying to corner the market for frozen orange juice. The characters were inspired by Texas oil millionaire Nelson Bunker Hunt and his brother when they tried to corner the silver market in the 1970s. Bunker was the first one that really felt the wrath of political powers, not liking people to have concentrated long positions in a, in, in a, in a smallish market that has political consequences. And the silver market is certainly a market that back in the 1970s and 80s certainly had political consequences in terms of its, the way it makes the fiat or paper currency regimes be perceived by the general public. The Bunker Hunts tried to corner the silver market to protect their wealth, they were paranoid about inflation as U.S. President Richard Nixon moved the currency away from the gold standard. I don't really keep track of, uh, of uh, never, never count my money. I just want to enjoy life and uh, I don't have to spend a lot of money to enjoy life. Bunker Hunt joined forces with Saudi millionaires to become the market's biggest player, buying up to 60% of an entire year's silver supply during 1979. The price skyrocketed from $6 US an ounce to $52 in a year. Then, in early 1980, investors fled from silver as gold tumbled and a credit squeeze took hold. Bunker Hunt ignored a margin call from his broker, Beish, so they asked the regulator, the Commodities Futures Trading Commission, to shut the market or force Hunt to pay up. They advised me that morning that they had word from the Bank of England that if they stopped trading, it would be considered by the European market as a very bearish point of view. So regulators, fearing a global meltdown, did nothing. Silver prices collapsed in March 1980, costing Bunker Hunt $2 billion as he failed to meet his margin calls. It has made people far more aware of the speculative, sometimes dangerously speculative nature of these markets. It will therefore make them more cautious. Thirty years later, regulators are again investigating claims. Two big banks, HSBC and JP Morgan, which held a massive 85% of silver short positions, conspired to drive down prices in 2008. Those claims were prompted by independent bullion dealer Andrew Maguire, who told US regulators that a fraud had been committed when the silver price collapsed. We saw a massive takedown, and it really was time to say, look, you know, we're witnessing a crime in progress here. So I thought it my duty to really contact the CFTC to investigate. Mark van der Sloos says market manipulation is a fact of life, which isn't the exclusive preserve of investment banks. We see it with interest rates being kept low through programs such as quantitative easing, which effectively is manipulation of the bond market. We see it in terms of interventions uh, in the currency and foreign exchange markets. And when silver futures plunged 27% earlier this month after derivatives market CME increased margins, the conspiracy theories were given new life, but not by Matt Kirk who's been trading for 25 years. Those people who are complaining about margins being increased um, maybe don't have enough capital um, and maybe they're not making money out of it. And Mark van der Sluis claims he's making money by focusing on the big questions. Do we think the governments are going to stop printing money to solve the debt crisis around the world? If you think the answer to that is yes, you shouldn't own silver. If you think that answer is no, you should accumulate silver over time to protect your wealth. Ah! So cornering the silver market might not be such a crackpot idea.